How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back after a long while to Pokemon White Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, if you remember all that time ago, we went up to Celestial Tower and met up with Skyla, and in this episode, guys, after overwhelming amounts of requests, we went and uh, replaced Lil Hops for the time being, at least. We'll see how everybody feels about this um, with Smugleaf. Um, our Snivy that we found in Celestial Tower. A lot of people, so many people had requested that we did this, had, that we do this, so I'm gonna go ahead, I went ahead and did that. And in this episode, guys, I know it's been a little while, we are going to be challenging Skyla, uh, at the gym here, which to my knowledge is right up here. Uh, Leader Skyla, the high-flying girl. Well, that's almost entirely wholly a lie, because <laughs> she, as much as she's like, would like to be, like to lead us to believe, that she's a flying type user, uh, that's not the case in the randomizer. We'll see who, uh, whose life she horribly ends today. Yeah, 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 you're speaking lies, man, you're speaking lies. So yeah, this series is back, uh, I didn't want to uh, leave it abandoned here. A lot of people thought it was never coming back, but it is, it's back, and it's, uh, better than ever. This is, um, happening alongside Fantasy Life, and if you haven't checked out Fantasy Life, highly advise you do. It's a great series, and I'm having a freaking heck of a time playing it. Uh, do I shoot across here? You have to bear with me. Uh, it's been a long time since I fought Skyla, that's for sure. Um, but I think we're kind of required to fight this dude, so we'll see what kind of Pokemon or what kind of people around here they want to try and... What? Was he was he like, how do you feel about the cannons? Be like, dude, if you know me, if you know anything about me, you know I love cannons. Just kidding. Uh, but Worker Cliff sending out... Polyrath. All right, well, that'll be a good enemy for uh, for Smugleaf to start off with. We really just kind of need him to level up once um, so that he can evolve because, as you can see, he's already level 26, but dude has Leaf Tornado to start off with. I'm worried, though, that Polyrath is going to be doing a good amount of damage to us, but we have Leaf Tornado, and I'm... Wow, okay. Do you need to hit... Do you need to hit every time? Four times? All right, let's wipe him out, Smugleaf. Let's wipe this Polyrath out. Okay, that did not do as much as I'd hoped. So maybe we'll be swapping him out for a little while because that did basically nothing. Uh, I have so many ice type Pokemon. It's been such a long time since I've been playing this game. I have so many ice type Pokemon. Let's hope that you don't have an ice type move there, Polyrath. I don't think that you will, but let's hope that you don't. Okay, that may or may not be worse. Well, it's just a little bit more annoying. It's not necessarily worse, but I'm stoked everybody today was a good day in the land of Pokemon Go. I also taught the Prophet Fly uh, due to a lot of requests for what you guys were saying. You know, like, hey, QRM can learn Fly. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Um, okay, this is gonna suck. Okay, uh, is this, are you not gonna wake up anytime soon? I can take another one of those hits, right? Uh, okay, you're not gonna wake up, are you? All right, this is gonna suck, this Polyrath. Uh, whoa, dangerous there, sir. A little bit too dangerous for me. Uh, Submission. Uh, that's gonna cause problems with just about every single person on our team. Let's hope Ploink doesn't follow the same fate. Um, but it was a good day in Pokemon Go. I caught a war total on the road, uh, which was awesome. I wasn't driving for anyone wondering or worried. Uh, I was sitting at a stoplight and uh, someone else was driving and I caught a, and a war total showed up randomly. And I was like, what? Because as people may or may not know, war total is my favorite designed Pokemon in terms of like aesthetics and the way it looks. Bounce, uh, bounce, 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 bounce. You know what? I think I'm gonna pass on Bounce. Uh, it's a good move, it's a good physical flying move, but I think I'm gonna pass on it for now. Uh, it does take two turns, which is why. Uh, yeah, give up on Bounce. We don't wanna bounce, 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 bounce. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're probably gonna be sending out Smugleaf and then pulling him back because having him at such a low evolution right now, and he, and he only, a super effective Leaf Tornado only did that much. Uh, that worries me, but Kadabra here, um, we have somebody who has a dark type move, right? I think Scruffton's got Crunch or something like that. We got Spoon Man! See, the thing is, is I used to play clips of Spoon Man whenever I would say that, like the song Spoon Man, but I'm so afraid of getting copyright strike now, man. What did you just use? Oh, you identified me. Huh, I'm so scared. But yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta worry so much of getting copyright strike now from, from any little thing because of how, like, crazy screwed up YouTube's copyright system is, well, it's not, it's very accurate, it's very precise is the problem, in, in, in most cases, it's not all the time, so I need to go ahead and potion up because, and apparently I need to wake up, uh, wake up the prophet because dude is, dude is dragon, do I have anything, okay, I'm gonna say, do I have like a berry to wake him up, because yes we do, and I'm gonna go, need to go find some, some, uh, good old medicine, he gave us some fresh water, ah oh, yes, the most useful item in the game, the max revive, ah, uh, 
How I love resurrecting dead Pokemon. All right, and you know what? Why the heck not? We'll do that on Scruffton. Do we have any hold items for Smugleaf? I don't think that we do. All right, sorry for the quick cut there. We were looking for items uh, to to uh, heal everybody with, but and we made it through all right, so that's all good. Um, just had a had a quick problem with the with the capture, but that, you know that's what you got to worry about when you're doing DS games and things like that. Super unpredictable. More a masquerade. Something not good to fight against. Well. Something that could be semi-good to fight against, but hey, we're almost ready to evolve, and I'm not going to take any chances with our new little cute smug leaf. Yeah, that's what I named him. A lot of people are probably like, why the heck did you name him what his fan name was? I, It's hard to come up with nicknames on the spot like that. You try. It's not easy. It's definitely not an easy thing. And I got I got some new like um, monitoring and mixing headphones for my music, so I'm using them right now to... Uh, Wow, I sounded like, I sounded almost like Canadian right there. Did you guys hear that? I was like, I'm using them right now? Is that like a Canadian accent? I don't know, I'm not Canadian. I don't want to like, I don't want to sound in it like, to sound like a jerk or anything like that. But, uh, it all sounded like how like Drake talks. But anyway, I got, I got these new mixing headphones that I'm using at the moment. And, uh, oh, we're gonna get two level ups right now. And then Smugly, if you're gonna level up, dude, yeah. And so they're like super sound canceling, super, super good. Whoa, dark ride. All right, check that onto the list. And it's, so, it's really weird because I'm used to hearing how loud I am. So I sound really quiet, so I'm probably yelling a lot, but I don't know. Uh, Darkrai. Uh, uh, Alright, um, I don't think anybody has any really... Scruffton has a fighting type move. I, I think it's only Rock Smash. But bummer. I don't think we've gone up against Darkrai yet, though. But there he is. Add him to the freaking legendary list. Didn't think that I'd be back in the thick of it uh, in White Randomizer, White Randomizer Nuzlocke and already be going against more legendaries. Let's just hope Skyla doesn't have anything because that would suck. Dig would probably do, because I don't think Darkrai, I don't think he ha like works in terms of Levitate or anything like that. Let's hope we get a critical here. All right, well, you know what? I can live with Rock Smash. I get to... Oh, come on. We don't all need to fall asleep in this episode. Wake up, Scruffton. Come on. Bad dreams. Yeah, okay. I guess that's his ability. So I'm going to need to wake us up. Otherwise, this is going to just be a problem for us. Uh, is it Chester there? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> it's been a little while since I played a mainstream Pokemon game. Uh... If you notice on Twitter, I mentioned something about um, Pokemon Uranium, which if you don't know is a fan game that has been in progress for what, like nine years or something like that? And it got released and like the week it got released, Nintendo of America came and shut the project down because obviously you can't, well, I don't know, because they weren't making profit off of it, but they were using their intellectual property. But I don't know, that's the whole thing with copyright in video games. It gets really convoluted at some points and there's a lot of gray areas. But hey, we leveled up, and we're gonna get an evolution out of this battle. Ooh, wow, Scruffton almost went up a whole extra level. But all right, Smug Leaf, let's evolve, man. I've had you for barely any time, but we do need this to happen because of how low his stats would be at this level, especially if we're going against legendaries. But let's uh, get ourselves a Servine, shall we? Get ourselves a Servine. Still named Smug Leaf, though. Didn't really think much about that when I nicknamed him, I guess. Ah, so elegant, so majestic. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Smugleaf. I used to be a smug little leaf lizard, but now I'm lovely. Oh, all right then. All right then, Smugleaf. That's that's fine. Uh, yeah. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and head in this cannon here. I think this is pretty straightforward. I could be totally wrong. Could be 100% butchering this. But I'm like 90% sure this is straightforward because mostly you can't go every direction and man, these make my... So I just went for a walk to like hatch a bunch of egg eggs from Pokemon Go. And so I have this really weird thing that's happened to me ever since I was little, but my ears get like so inflamed once in a while. Just not like, not like I have like an issue with them or anything, but they just get so hot. At ri oh, look at how awesome he looks. He looks pretty good. I'm glad everybody uh, went with that because he is a looker. Um, but they just get so hot and irritated just from, like, just about anything, which is so weird. Just at especially at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. To the point where I was little, I used to take little Dixie cups out of the bathroom, fill them up with cold water, and just, like, dip my ears in them. Because it would just be so, so awful. And then they would just turn, like, beet red, like, just, just dark, pure red ears back, uh, when I was, when I was wee little. When I was a wee little. Oh, are you using me first when I use Ice Beam? This is about to suck. Uh, we'll see how much that does. 
Okay, that doesn't do that much because of my ice type. How about back at you, man? Back at you. That's got a very, very limited tactical approach to it, using me first like that. Uh, Absol. Um, you think you guys think Smugleaf can stand his own against Absol? He kind of needs to. Him and McTavish need to get some serious levels, man. Him and McTavish desperately need to get some levels. Uh, Pilot Ted sent out Absol. I haven't been noticing these characters' names, so that's pretty funny. Uh, let's see what see what Leaf Tornado does to. Ooh. Oh, he flinched? Come on. He's been- he's barely been able to do anything, and everybody's like, you gotta use him. Gotta use him. Well, I'm using him. I like him. I don't- well, we'll do this for a little while, because all my other Pokemon are up at a pretty high level right now, and of course, Ploink can always carry the team, man. He's freaking- she is freaking Ploink. Uh, what did I say about teetering out or something? I don't know. But Bubble Beam time, uh, we should be getting Surf relatively soon, if I'm remembering right. The order in which you get things. Uh, surf should be happening... Um, it's sometime after this, uh, it's sometime after this, uh, gym. I was about to say this dungeon. Man. Uh, <laughs> it's been a little while since I played a mystery dungeon game. We really need a new one, though, don't we? 28? Yeah, that's right, Smugleaf. Uh, altitude is dropping slowly. Wow. Alright, you, you alright there? Was that like a metaphor for him being depressed or something? He's like, altitude is dropping. Temperature is dropping. Sadness is happening. All right, I already fought this good. Wait, what? Didn't I already go this way? What? I'm lost. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen sooner or later because I technically can't go up this. What? Uh, can I go in? Oh, oh! You can change the angle. I gotta say, I didn't. Wasn't actually aware of that, and I don't think we've been this way before. But you can't. So that that causes a lot of complications here. Uh, because I don't think we fought this dude yet. Target lock acquired. I will shoot you down with my flight. He's gonna shoot me down? Dude, we're in like a nice, happy, friendly go, like happy go lucky Pokemon battle pilot chase, and he's like, all right, man, I'm gonna shoot you against the wall, please. Welcome to the, welcome to the firing range. <laughs> like, oh my god. All right, uh, Galvantula. This is probably not good for us to go against right now, so. Scruffed in time, and we're going to use Dig. We're going to use Dig, and it's going to be awesome. Um, because Scruffton has that, and dude can take a lot of hits. Well, that wouldn't have done, like, anything to us. I was worried about, like, his bug-type moves or anything like that. Uh, it wouldn't have done anything to Smug Leap, at least. All right, start digging, puppy dog. Do you have the Quick Claw? Oh, he does. As I was saying, it's been a... Well, you guys know how long it's been since <laughs> White Randomizer Nuzlocke. It's been a good while. And did I... Oh, I was going to say, did I miss... Galvantula? Take him out. Oh, that didn't do nearly as much as I hoped it would. Scruffed in. Well, maybe this will do it. Maybe we'll get like a nice crit crit from this and take him out. Come on! Hey! Well, oh, he's gonna get a crit now. Watch this. Oh, no. I was gonna say, of course, Galvantula's gonna get a critical right when I'm like, oh, let's try and get a critical. Galvantula's gonna be like, I got you, man. And they're like, oh, but of course. Oh, yeah, but these headphones, man, it's really, they're really nice. They're really comfy. But they do make my ears hot right now. I guess but that's because I was just outside. Uh, I don't, what the heck? Where am I supposed to go? There's got to be some direction that I haven't... Or I am supposed to do this. I probably was supposed to do that. Yeah, I probably totally was supposed to do that so I could fight this guy. And then we've got to probably go across a couple more cannons and we'll get to Skyla. And then we will battle her and we will win! We will fight! And we will win! Fight! Win! That's from uh, The Incredibles, I think. Shaman! We fought Shaman before. Oh, it's so cute! I feel like if I, ever, if I ever got like a pet hedgehog or a pet like hamster or something, I'd be like, that is Shaman, and he's awesome. And I would, of course, try and put a flower in it in his ear or something. Which, you know, he probably would just... I wonder if they're, they're probably... Pictures, there's pictures of like people who... Which is really sad to me. People who've like spray-painted their dogs to make them look like pandas and stuff. It's like, oh, like... They've died. That was probably a really stupid idea sending him out, but we should take him out right- Uh-oh. No! No, 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 no! Oh! Fleetwood! I gotta be more careful about my type matchups right now! Okay, get out of there! I thought I was panicking for a minute. Whoa! Oh, we almost lost Fleetwood. Wow! Okay. That was scary, but anyway... Uh, um... People spray paint their dogs to look like, oh, you freaking jerk, Shaman, to look like pandas and things like that. Like, they actually spray paint and dye their fur, which cannot be healthy. Like, there's no way you could argue and be like, oh, it's totally fine. Like, 
Come on, you're spray painting your dog, your animal spray. I guess it's probably the equivalent of like dyeing your hair or something. But you know that dog doesn't want to look like a panda. Come on. But you know, that's just me. That's my humble opinion. If you're into spray painting your dogs to look like pandas, uh, well, it's not my dog, so there's not much I can say about it. But you now you know my. Oh, gold star! Did you see? What was the point of that? It's like shoot through the ring. Does that happen every time? Oh yeah, it does. Superman 64! Oh, double rings. Wow. Mad skills over here. Is this really the way you get this guy? This is so showy for like, what? Did I just, did I just face plan to this concrete wall? And, ever, and it was supposed to be like a joke? That's not a joke. Oh, baby girl Skyla. Oh, you guys know, I don't, it's like if you knew how much I like Skyla. Skyla's, Sky, Skyla's pretty cute, man. For like a, for like a gym leader. Definitely in my, definitely in my top there. She's no, uh, she's no Cheryl, that's for sure, but, uh, she's pretty cute. I like Skyla. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start battling her. Hopefully we know not everybody dies. Hee <laughs> hee, I've been waiting for you. You enjoy flying with the help of the Mr. Alton's gym cannons? Yeah, it was all right. This time, let's try something else. Wow, that was very, very encouraging battle, like, talk there. She's like, hey, did you like flying on cannons? Let's not do that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> Charmeleon? They just don't want me to use Smuggly for right now. They're just like, look, here's Charmeleon. Put your Smuggly. Let him. Let him. Just, just keep him in your pocket for a little while. Fine. I will show you the Wrath of Ploink, which is a wrath that should not be messed with. Oh yeah, Ploink about to mess you up. Well, that's not gonna do jack to me. Oh, because I'm about to use Bubble Bee. I, th I fully thought I was gonna get burned from that, and I was about to be like, wow. Okay, of course. Uh, nice. Knock that Charmeleon out! Uh, Smugleaf and Lapras. Okay. Uh, it was only a matter of time before we started to come into a problem. Um, I don't know what to do with Lapras because Lapras probably has ice type moves. This is about to suck. Uh, we could try to put it to sleep. I don't foresee it having any serious threats to Plank. Nice! I was gonna say, so we can try and use Psychic and take it out, which isn't gonna do a lot of damage because of how freaking tanky Lapras is. But I can give it a shot here with Psychic. See what we see what we're able to do. See what we're working with here. Yeah, I figured. I actually figured it was gonna be less. But when I think about a match with a fabulous trainer like you, she thinks I'm fabulous. Oh, and she's and like walking on air. That's a Lance Bass song. Feels like I'm, oh yeah, you just nighty night Lapras. Really glad that point thing freaking hit. Man, there needs to be Polytoad merch, man. Ever since uh oh, really. Really? Rain Dance? That's the move you were trying to use right before the end of your Lapras. Except you're probably gonna heal it. I knew it! Ugh, you suck. Come on. And it's not even, I don't even think a single time we've lowered his special defense with that. Oh, of course. So now you're gonna probably do a ton of damage to us with like Surf or some bull crap. Oh no. All right. Uh, okay, cannot have Floink out any longer because that's going to suck. Uh, so we'll go ahead and switch to the Prophet. He's got some dragon type moves, uh, so maybe that can, well, that's not gonna, oh, but I wonder if Lapras has like Ice Beam or anything like that. Not like it's gonna do a lot because we have the Ice type there, but whatever. I can withstand for a little while while this thing obviously, are you serious, the Prophet? Are you, well, good thing, uh, good thing we're not out there right now. I'll just... Uh, I guess Ancient Power, that's probably our... Of course you have Ice Beam! I was like, oh, it probably doesn't have Ice Beam, but of course it does. Alright, let's hope we can take this out pretty quickly. And... Oh, come on! Really? The Prophet! Oh my god! I knew you were gonna do that, Skyla. You stu... Well, you're gonna die because... You were gonna die because of Parish Song. And I didn't hear it. So, good nighty night! Was it worth it? Was it worth it, Lapras? I don't think it was, uh, far-fetched. Really? That's your- Well, she- it is a flying type, so... You know, that's something. This is my last Pokémon, but I'll- You- your last Pokémon is literally one of the worst Pokémon in existence. He's holding a leak. A lot of people think that that's a stick, but it's just a vegetable. Farfetch'd likes to hold the leak. And now he is a dead bird. He had to face the Prophet, man. He had to face the problem. He hit level 36, man. Slash. Uh, nah, we'll keep our old moves. This is a solid normal type move, as you all, I'm sure, know. 
Koopa? Nah, being your opponent in battle is a new source of strength to me. Thank you. And we get paid, which is awesome. Uh, you're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy because for the first time in a while, we could fight with our full strength. This is an official League Gym Badge. I think it'll look good on you. Yeah, we've had a couple before, Skyla, but I'll take yet another badge. I'll take another one. It's been a few months since I've last been here. And yeah, guys, we are... It's weird to think how close to, like, not like the end, but we're really far in this game. Uh, the Jet Badge. Uh, wow, hot stuff. Oh, she thinks I'm hot, too. Skyla. Again with the compliments. Have you guys seen that video? Give me compliments. I said I give me comp. It's so... Wow. I didn't even know she gave acrobatics. After all that time when I was trying to give Lil Hops acrobatics. By the way, I flew over Twist Mountain on the way to Icarus City. Ah, oh, Icarus City's awesome. Team Plasma. Is that the name? Anyway, they were heading for the city. What kind of people are they? Bad ones, Skyla. Let me get into this cannon here. I was gonna say your cannon, but that kind of sounds suggestive. Uh, and I'm gonna shoot this way. Aw, oh, yeah. Did you see me kill it? Did you see me kill it? Ooh, not many people look that good being shot out of a cannon. Uh, it, not a lot of people just get shot out of a cannon, dude. Let alone look good. And, oh, good. Creepazoid is here. They may say it is better. It is for understanding one another better. But what trainers really use battles for is to compete. And they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever. I'm going to talk to your Pokemon. I've been living with Pokemon since I was born, so it's easier for me to talk with them than other people. Because Pokemon never tell lies. Except when they do. Hey, Servine. Would you tell me what kind of, kind of trainer Tommy is? Um, I've barely known him. Oh, okay, okay, got it. So Tommy was born in New Vama Town, lives with mom, and was given the Pokedex. Uh, I'm out in the world still. Does Servine trust you for some reason? Yeah, we've known each other for a full episode, and I've evolved him, so I think that's a pretty good, pretty sweet deal. Can watch over the future of pe uh, people and Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just use them. G Getsis is using Team Plasma to search for some special stones. The Light Stone and the Dark Stone. Those stones hold the essence of two legendary Pokemon. It is said that when they lost their physical form, they fell into slumber and were transformed. Now they wait for the hero's arrival. I shall resurrect a legendary dragon-type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. That will show the world that I am the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. Okay. And then he's like, no, my vision is changing. My vision to change the world without using force. Trying, excuse me, to change the world by force will just make others resist. If people resist, the ones that will be hurt are the innocent Pokemon used by foolish trainers. You understand. Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. Okay, and As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated. And that does break my heart a little. Okay. Well, you do your thing, man. I'm just trying to not get killed by legendaries is all. But anyway, guys, we got ourselves um, yet another uh, yet another gym badge. So uh, it's time for the adventure to continue, everybody, which we will be doing in the next episode, everybody. So expect more regular white randomizer Nuzlocke, uh, as I had promised previously. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.